So when I first met David, he was quite a shy student, fresh from school. Um, his family members really had no idea of where he was going to go with his employment and they were quite concerned. But then when Adelaide Tree Surgery came up, he's definitely built his confidence and constantly communicating with his family, they've noticed it. This all started at a Difference Collective networking event. Yeah, so after the event, um, I had a meeting with Cindy at Barcooma uh, in regards to uh, what sort of work we had available that could be, uh, that someone could take up. And so I listed down about five or six different tasks or jobs that could be done around our workplace here at Lonsdale. And from that point onwards, Cindy went out and saw somebody and long come David. Hi, I'm David. I work for the Adelaide Tree Surgery at Lonsdale. The work that I do is all sorts of the yard hand kind of work, but not the yard hand you think it'd be. It's just in the stepper area. It's wood splitting to mulching and spraying weeds to basically cleaning up the depot. Um, the tasks that I came up with were, were jobs that were need to be done around the depot, around the office. Uh, generally, I'd undertake them on weekends or out of hours due to um, my workload. Uh, David's first week on the job um, began with obviously myself meeting David down here and the first couple of weeks I was down here when David was working for the, the two half days a week and Annie the support person was here as well and we made a list of, of tasks or jobs that needed to be done and David uh, went on his way and, and carried those tasks out. Uh, Annie's role in this whole process was to ensure that um, you know, David knew what was, uh, what work was uh, there for him to do and just ensured that he was undertaking that work and had someone around as a bit of support through that process. So yeah, my job's quite simple. I'm just here to help David uh, in the role. So it makes it easier for Mark and the team to concentrate on their jobs. Well, at the start, Annie came in and just helped me out, supervised and basically watched what I was doing. She didn't find any issues with me. I could just get on with my work. She now just pops in and out once or twice a day, depending. And if she's forgotten, I say Happy Easter or whatever. Yeah, we're looking at uh, increasing David's days now to three days. Um, and the reason being is that um, one of the tasks that David has uh, undertaken since he's been with, been with us is split firewood. Um, and that's actually um, become probably the main task that David has done for us. And because of the amount of wood that he has split, we're in a position now where we've got a lot of firewood to sell. So we're in the process of starting up another business, um, which is purely, it's an offshoot to the Adelaide Tree Surgery, but yes, yeah, selling firewood. Yeah, the firewood part of our business is called the Adelaide Firewood Depot. It's something that I've probably been wanting to do for a long time. It's giving us a chance to recycle the timber that we re, um, recut down and, uh, from, from the Adelaide Tree Surgery. Um, but again, it was on my list of things to do, which is quite long. But now that David's here, it's, it's got to the top a lot quicker than probably what it was ever going to get to the top. But yeah, because of the way that this has sort of worked out, uh, you know, the positive, uh, the, you know, that it's brought to our business uh, with David on board, um, we're looking at employing an additional person for our gutter cleaning business um, from a different background. Yeah, and yeah, and we're really excited about creating a more diverse workplace. It's been brilliant. Two days a week coming here is good fun. Breaks up my week, breaks up basically everything. So I've been working with David for 18 months, starting with voluntary positions to help him to gain confidence in employment. And this is why this job has been so successful. He was definitely job ready. Mm -hmm.